Hello YouTube, and this is a big motor. It's a uh, 200 and something watt motor from a Corsa cooling fan uh, thingy, cooling fan air conditioning unit thing, I don't know. Big fan on it, it spins around lots of current. But it has this little module plugged into it, and this uh, is the speed controller. So what you've got here is four cables, or four connections, and you can either have 12 volts, so it's a DC motor, plus and minus, and you need to have 12 volts directly across it, gives you full speed, or what the car's electronics does is shunt these coils between the motor and the 12 volts, and these effectively are just big power resistors. Nice and simple, but if you look here, where this bodgy bit of wire that I've stuck on is, you can see, it's broken. This one's just flapping about in the breeze. So I've had a go at trying to solder it, and it ain't soldering. So I need to adjust, change this coil. So what I've managed to do, well, what I've got to do first is uh, remove the old coil. So this is very corroded, so I've got to clean up these contacts, uh, remove them so they're just so they're just pressed in, and then move the leg press in there, and then get some new nichrome wire. It's going to be nichrome wire. Twiddle it around, stick it in, and you can see the resistance is written on here, hopefully. So you've got 0.42 ohm, 0.34 ohm. So I just got to twiddle it to get approximately the same resistance. It doesn't really matter. I oh, see it being an exact science. So, first things first, I think we'll get the Dremel on this and give it a bit of a clean Dremel with spinny bit. And we'll... Ah! There we go, with a bit of wire brushing and uh, heaving it with a pair of pliers. That spring is out. So... The inside is a bit crowded. Might be able to give that a go in over a wire brush as well, make it last a bit longer. And there is the old curly whirly uh, heating element. So what I've got to do now is replicate that with uh, my solution. So this is my replacement wire. And if you look here, they are. It is a bit thinner. So what I was going to do is double it up or even triple it up and then bend it into shape. Uh, I've got to measure the cross section area of that and then uh, go from there. Oh, I'm not in focus. That's not going to that, that. Has that helped? Has that helped? No, that hasn't helped. There you go. Look, it's so far away now. You can barely see it. But if I get close. No, it's not going to work. Anyway, I'm going to uh, twiddle it together and make a spring. That's the plan, anyway. So to make twiddle this together, I have a drill. There's my drill. Jaws in the uh, wires in, this, in the jaws. And then as you take it over here, Hold it with a pair of pliers at this end and give it a twiddle. What can possibly go wrong? And a short twiddle later, we have our thicker wire. And that should be approximately the same thickness as that, which I think it probably is. I mean, obviously, it's a bit thicker, but then again, what you've got memory is a cross surface area, and this is knobbly, so it'll be about right. She'll be right, it'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, that's a good shaft that I can use to wrap the coils around to match this one. Da da! And if we removed the shaft, we should have. Uh, have I done something really stupid here? Have I just locked it together? Oh no. Yes, yes, I have. Oh, that's all right. I need to untwiddle it. Oh, uh, more untwiddling to come. And there's our new uh, coil. So what we've got to do now is fit it back in there. And that's just going to be a case of bending these tabs out of the way, feeding it through, squeezing it in. Now this wire, incidentally, this isn't normal wire. This is a nichrome wire. So it's nickel and chromium. And it's high resistance wire. And that's why it's also got a very high melting point. And that's why it's using heaters. So if you've got a space heater or a fan heater, it's this wire that's making up the heater away that will, that will get hot or a hairdryer be that wiggly stuff inside the hairdryer will be made of this wire and that's why it's used as heaters because it's high resistance and high melting point so yeah, effectively you've just got heaters in series of the motor that regulates the speed it's an incredibly inefficient wasteful way of doing it I was tempted to do MOSFETs and stuff and a PWM controller but then I couldn't be bothered so I thought I'd just do this because that's what the original does and I didn't have time so right stick it back in and there we go, that's our new heater 
resistor coil fitted. It's not pretty, but it should hopefully work. We'll have to give that a go and see what it does. But yeah, so for now, I'm happy with that. And uh, I've got to plug that in back into the car it came from. This was from a Corsa, by the way, if I hadn't said that already. Um, we'll see if that actually works. So for now, I'll leave it there. So, hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't, then, uh, well, sodger. So uh, I'll see you later. Bye for now.